Now, have you guys uh, realized that African women, brown women, right? Many of them, if not all, most of them are putting plastic hair. Have you guys noticed that? Yeah, yeah. 90%. 90%. Have you guys noticed that they're putting plastic hair to look like the European women? The no, not to look like... No, they are not like Okay? Not, not to look like European women. Okay. Yeah. Who are they trying to look like when they put plastic hair? Because we know European women are the ones that have long hair like that, right? Yeah. And they are the ones we see most of the time on TV on the movies, on the shows, on the documentaries, you understand? And then, who are they trying to look like when they put the, the plastic hair? Because naturally they don't have that kind of hair, right? They are not putting long hair that looks like their own, but they are putting long hair that looks like the European women hair, you understand? So who are they trying to look like, in your opinion? European. Europe is obvious. Oh no, no, no. Yeah, 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 obvious. Actually, you know what? And and have you noticed that there are some Africans, the brown Africans, right, yeah. who are even pinkinizing the color. Yeah. Some. Yeah, that yeah. we know. So yeah. they, who are they trying to look like when they change their skin color? What is wrong with having a brown chocolate color? Why, who, who, okay, what are they? <laughs> who are they trying to look like when they they change their skin color? In your opinion. Not, not the, the pink people, the one you call white. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So it is part, it, it goes pair in, uh, hand in hand. The plastic hair, the change of skin color, as having their names, you know, the behavior, the trying to act like European, is all part of the package because the oppressor of the brown man has given us the impression that being us is primitive, is inferior, is wrong. You understand? Not to say that, actually, you know what? When you're, you're, when you're a person, you always want to look good, right? So these people feel good when they look good. That's how they, they, they put it. So, so you're telling me looking good means trying to look like other people? Not to say they look like other people. But, but the, 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 you know what? Do, it do goes you? with fashion. You know okay. fashion, right? Yeah. Fashion. Changing, changing the skin color is fashion to you? No, it's not. Actually, okay. Actually, it's not fashion. It's, how what is that? What, what's the percentage of people that change their skin color? Uh, in, okay, uh, if, if I'm going to talk about Africa globally, right? Yeah. A lot. But in, if you talk about South Africa only, mm -hmm. maybe not that much, right? But in Africa as a whole, right? Because I'm covering lot, Africa, it's a, a lot. And then, and then can you, you didn't answer the question. What are they trying to look like when they put plastic hair? You say they're not trying to look like the... the <laughs> they don't try to look like the, the European women, right? Yeah. Who are they trying to look like them? It's obvious because you like... They trying to look like Europeans. It's obvious. You agree, right? Yeah. So, so, trying to look like other people is not trying to look beautiful. Trying to look beautiful is trying to look like yourself but improve just your look. You understand? Mm -hmm. That is trying to look beautiful. Trying to look other people is not trying to look beautiful. Mm -hmm. That is... That is, uh, that is you not being comfortable with yourself anymore and now you think being yours yourself is not beautiful and you're trying to look like other people and if you take into account the fact that we were oppressed by the pink people the european people right and yeah. throughout the oppression they have given us the impression that being us is ugly you understand they have said that our skin color was bad that we are black that our nose was how that our hair was you know they have vilify every aspect of our lives you guys know that right yeah. and who introduced plastic hair to us we don't manufacture plastic hair right when to is them and why did they introduce plastic hair to us when we have our own hair and we know that they have been the one telling us that uh, our hair is what what you know yeah. our nose is what our our skin is what what and then and then they and they knew that we mentally we mentally uh affected by what uh, what they said and now they provide a solution which is uh, since you are ugly since you are backward since you are not nice take this plastic hair to look like beautiful like us take this chemical to change your skin color because they are also the one making chemicals that change skin colors take this chemical to look like that take this uh, european name right and take this european languages because they are trying to to westernize us what they say they're trying to pinkinize us and that is part of keeping a slave because if they detach you from being yourself you understand you don't want to be yourself you don't even i've seen parents who beat their children because they spoke their mother language right in some part of africa they just want them to speak english 
or French or Portuguese. You understand? So it is part of the 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 continued destruction of pink people or pink or European nation and people over us because they traumatized us to the point it's now wrong to be us. You understand? Yeah. It's, it's not right because human beings don't do that to other human beings. You understand? You, you know, so, so you agree with me that the, our women are trying to look like them. Not because they choose to. Because of the mental trauma. You understand? Because exactly. everything on TV is them. You know, the movies, the shows, the, you know, everything, the magazines. So everything is, is made to, to view them to as them, eh? yeah, to, the standard. So everybody's trying to be like them. So I don't say our women are just feeling inferior doing it. No, our women are traumatized, just like our parents who name us after the European names, right? Are traumatized to try to be like European. You guys agree with me on that, right? Yeah. So it's something that is there that we have to oppose. Actually, I haven't noticed that. You no, haven't noticed that? Yeah, you told me that. Yeah. So you, now you are, you, yeah, you've noticed I'm, I'm now, right? Away, I'm aware what you're talking about. Okay, very interesting. So you agree that that's the, that's the reality now, now that you, you've realized, right? Yeah. Very interesting. And that is basically part of how they are maintaining us under them because they control our mind. Have you guys noticed that um, most Africans feel inferior to uh, pink people, Europeans? The, yeah, the, that, that, you, yeah, exactly. Okay. Why would we feel in, inferior to people who have oppressed us? Because your oppressors an oppressor is a criminal, you guys agree, right? Mm -hmm. And a, a criminal, nobody sees a criminal as a superior, isn't it? So why would we see our oppressors who are criminal as superior? Logically speaking, we would not have seen them as superior, understand? Yeah. Because they have hurt us. But because it's not logical, they, they, have, they are controlling the media and giving us an impression through the movies, through the news, through the magazines, through the history books, that uh, we are inferior and that they're superior that they are the standard of progress that's why we start to feel like we are less than them you understand yeah. basically they put that perception in our brain part of the same perception where we are now trying to look like them you understand so if they dictate your behavior they dictate you isn't it yeah. so that's it